Yeah, we're here in uh, Monroe County today, uh, June the 10th. Usually when uh, uh, I try to finish up planting my soybeans by the 10th, and you can see what I've got uh, facing me today. Uh, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take for it to dry up, but uh, what we're facing in this area is a, a late crop. We, we had a good crop going, uh, uh, getting a good stand uh, with our crop. Our corn crop was going good, but we just hadn't had any breathing room as far as sunshine and, and dry weather. And uh, I don't know what it's going to how it's going to end up, but I know it's going to impact farmers across Arkansas. I do know there's a lot of areas uh, in the state that's worse than I am. We've had this, uh, I know, for the last five or six years, pretty consistent. Uh, year in and year out, seems like we're, we're you know, replanting this year's a little bit later. Uh, in 2014, I had it uh, even worse than this. But uh, it seems like year in and year out now, it's consistently we've been uh, losing crops. Uh, I don't know if that's a climate change thing or what, but it just seems like uh, it's been consistent with us from what we have to come back and replant our, replant our soybeans mainly. Uh, farmers are trying to do the best job they can in, uh, uh, in what we face day to day. It's just not a cakewalk. Uh, we we we, had, we spend a lot of money putting this crop in, and it can be taken away for from us. In some places, three four hours, it's gone. That's much rainfall we get in, in a certain time.